Okay, here we have a dash set, and I just want to make a section, that, you know. And as you see, here there are same type of you know connection holes. There are ten pieces, and uh, those are connecting three plates, but also you know in the lower and the upper part, as you see. And the plate names are always different, you know, and uh, this makes our you know a difficult case to define action elements. But I will show you today how to do that. All right, and uh, for action elements, you can define any dummy part. I just make uh, you know one simple part like this. Okay, I select. As you see, there's no operations attached to it. So I select just the cylindrical case uh, face and here very important is the direction of the hole creation our holes are created you know in you know this direction so just make sure to select the correct direction All right and this will go to the plate with the name but in this, our case you know uh, the plates have all different names depending on uh, if they are belonging to the superior uh, parts or you know they have uh, different uh, names here another name as well okay so what I do is first of all I collect all possible names uh, which could be uh, you know for this uh, part and this can be as you see it can be you know for supporting plate for matrices or for uh, punches punzoni okay so what I do is, you know, this can be also, of course, for cutting tools or for bending tools. So, but I will just make sure that our macro action is valid for all type of parts. So that's why I put, I use wild card, wild cards, and so I'm using with comma. Uh, we can just give uh, list all the parts which can be. You know, defined all right so for people who maybe write differently I make sure that doesn't matter how this is written and this will be valid okay for it will be for matrices and for uh, for Sony I take this one and put it here okay so what I've done here is I give a list of parts for which uh, this uh, action will be valid this will be a simple counter bore. I take over the parameters by simply selecting, and the definition is finished now for one type of the hole. All right, so we continue now, and there will be another hole type, a simple hole. Again, direction must be okay, and this will be. I just select again some parts just to see their names. Because uh, again, this hole will be valid for different plates. Okay, this can be also for transio, for piega, and this can be for upper and lower parts as well. That's why we have to build up a string for part names. First of all, I take yes, like this. Okay, and of course not to have problems with different writings I make it sure that even people write it differently this will be always the place are found you know people can write maybe uh, piastrina or pia piastra that's why I just uh, cut from after this piastr so in both cases this will be okay okay and this is a simple hole and simply select Okay, so this is finished as well. So now we have added, as you see, two different operations. One is a counter board, and the other one is a counter sunk hole. Okay, and the operation parameters you can see, and those are the parts to which operations apply. All right, now we add the machining feature. This is the same thing like we have done before. Machining feature goes to different parts, and you know, as you see, the part names are totally different. Okay, we do the same thing again. I select the cylindrical face, change the direction, the whole direction, and I say this time this will apply 
okay to this one here there is not too much uh, option because it goes to two different parts one is okay and the other one will be the upper part let's take the upper parts name by selecting it all right so this is the superiore okay and I prefer again to enter here wildcard wildcard star in case people are writing it with underscore or with minus there will be no difference okay just delete this one and put one that you put all right now it's a little bit different now it's a machining feature and I want to I have an example on the model so I simply uh, select the machining feature and get it into editor with its parameters so I'll say OK and the action is attached as machining element all right so now when we check the part you see there are now three uh, action elements and you know the new one the partially traded plant always now added uh, to the face with the correct parameters and the other two are here uh, from our previous selection okay now uh, we are ready uh, we can just uh, position our part and uh, try to see how the actions are working i select the part and just simply share it and copy it in you know three four different places and i just make sure that uh, it's crossing different uh, plates okay here we have you know the parts are i copied it three times and it's crossing you know three different plates say if i say apply actions and i can just select, select one single part or three parts together here i select one two three parts each part has uh, three actions defined this makes all together nine actions and the most important thing is just uh, look to the right hand side and see that all the plates are existing they are all found all different plate plate names as you see with the wild cards have worked and i just say apply the actions and now uh, progressive power will just apply the actions to different plates so that's all uh, let's check the you know the uh, result as you see here uh, you know it's okay the plates are different but here we have a okay it doesn't matter there was a hole behind but this is not the issue at this moment but as you see the actions work through different plates even the plates have different names all right just reverse the part and put it from other side i do the same thing again just share copy and share the parts to different locations the purpose of this uh act you know uh, is just to show you that even uh, when we are you know putting to, to the upper plates and uh, this will work as well let me find a position where we have okay no existing holes All right in this case i put it to different positions and just you know again i select both parts as you see uh, now we have uh, six actions and when i look to the right hand side i see again uh, different plates are found the transio and the pega I apply and here you would also expect as you see all right now we have made the connection holes on the other plates okay so this was the action elements